Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Matthew Boyle from languagecardgames.com, where we believe if you can play cards, you can learn languages. But we don't only study languages on this channel, sometimes we just talk about studying in general, especially when it comes to flashcards and the Leitner system. And the purpose of this video today is to share with you a way that you can optimize how you review from time to time your graduated cards. These are some cards that I recently graduated the other day and it started me thinking about what I do with my graduated cards. Do I just wanna store them away and let them get dusty somewhere and never look at them again? No, I obviously need a way to just refresh them from time to time. Enter the new kid on the block, the Leitner maintenance box. This is a novel idea that I came up with, so if you like it and you get value from it and you want to try it, then definitely share it around and encourage people to come back and visit me here on this channel. And I'll put a link in this video to our Leitner box video series, which has the most videos about the Leitner box here on YouTube. Now let's get into this. What am I actually working with here? Well, I like to keep it raw and real and cheap and down to earth. So this is just an old shoe box. This is really all you need to get started. If you don't understand how to use this system, then hit the link in this video that I'll put there to go back and learn how to use it first of all, because we're not gonna talk about that. This is just about what happens uh, to your cards after you graduate them. So I've got this shoe box and then Check this out. I'm going to put these cards in there. And then I have actually some foam from something else that I bought online that came and it had foam in it. So I could use this just to keep the cards from falling all over the place. And as I add more cards, I can just bend this. How convenient is that? And that's cheap. You could just use something like that uh, to keep things looking nice and organized. So how actually does this work? There's, you're going to need one critical thing, and that is th this, this, this box here, the maintenance box, doesn't have levels, okay? But you're just going to need one divider to demarcate the back from the front. I'm just using, this is just an envelope that I cut to fit this box. So we'll just put that at the back, okay? And I graduated this chunk of cards. Now, how often I review these cards and how many I review is really depends on how much I'm putting into this box and how often I graduate them and how much I graduate. But basically, I would say maybe once a month or once every two months, you take a percentage or a fraction of these cards, depending on how many you have in here, and just review them. And then what's going to happen is, let's say I took out this chunk of cards here. I'm not going to be able to get the frontmost one, but let's say I have reviewed these, and it's just for fun. It doesn't really matter if they're right or wrong. It's just to remember some of your, your cards over time. What's going to happen next is these will go behind the card, this divider that I have, and when I have new cards graduated, they're going to go in here. Okay, and then as these go around the back, slowly but surely, these will be moving back up to the front to the point where you could review those again. Again, how often and how many cards you review, that's gonna depend on you. But this is the maintenance box system and it will allow you to keep all of the cards that you've been graduating in a rotation over the coming months and years. Here's some others that I've graduated and they're sorted by subject and category. I've got English vocabulary, Mandarin, Cantonese, quotes, idioms, herbs, flowers, plants. So all of these are gonna be going in too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you can find your way back. And I will see you here next time at Language Card Games. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.